Are you swinging to the sweet sounds of risk management? You know, I am swinging to the sweet sounds of risk management. <laughs> So there's a really fantastic episode of Seinfeld where George Costanza describes his business expertise as risk management. And as experts in risk and uncertainty, we love watching this uh, episode because George approaches his risk management journey maybe in the same way some of us start out. Risk management? Yeah. Steinbrenner wants everyone in the front office to give a lecture in their area of business expertise. Well, what makes them think you're a risk management expert? I guess it's on my resume. <laughs> yeah, and look, it all, go, all goes downhill from there because for those that don't know the episode, he ends up with this really interesting ebook in an era that didn't even really have ebooks, I guess, but an ebook for want of a better term that talks about um, managing risk. In, or, in order to manage risk, we must first understand risk and then business risk management being an absolute business fundamental. Both of these are true, absolutely. And also the hilarious part is the voice that it's delivered in, which on the audio book sounds exactly like this really whiny George Costanza voice as well. To manage risk, we must first understand risk. How do you spot risk? How do you avoid risk? And what makes it so risky? This guy sounds just like me. Risk. Which is equally as funny for a separate reason. Okay. But look, this parody aside, which is acutely on point when George uh, gets a really thick textbook on risk management, uh, attempts to read it, decides it's all too hard. I mean, and really, I guess the point here is that risk management doesn't have to be uh, inaccessible and overly complicated uh, as George is making it out to be. Yeah, and it's almost like the metaphor, it's this big blue book that's about this thick. And we absolutely feel like that's pretty much most people's experience with risk management. It's a textbook exercise. They look at it, they go, lots of big words, too much complexity, whew, too hard basket. Risk management. I'm not familiar with that. You'll have to explain it to me. I'll tell you what. Why don't you read this book and let's just see if you can explain it to me. And that's why it's so funny. Yeah. But look, there's three basic things that you need to do in order, I guess, to make risk management part of your culture and get your team talking about risk and understanding risk. All right. Number one, this is our, these are our three, three practical steps or three practical actions. Uh, number one, understand that risk is absolutely fundamental and a fundamental part of doing business. But it's like that analogy, I'll flash it over now. Risk and opportunity are just two sides of the same coin. So opportunity and risk live in the same universe, just in two different, I guess, aspects of the same spectrum. But understanding that there is no business or is, there is no decision that comes without risk. That's really number one, isn't it? Yeah. And number two, number two is to keep it simple. Don't talk about risk management in, in jargon. Don't use big, long, complicated words. Uh, keep it simple. Talk in plain English to your team about, about risk. Talk to them about risk is the thing that will stop us achieving our objectives. What are these risks? What are we going to do about it? Nice and simple, plain English speak. That's right. That's right. We get bombed with all this jargon and acronyms. And if you live in the world, we all probably live in, um, it just can absolutely sound like white noise after a while. Okay, and lastly, number three, creating a risk aware culture within your organization. We hear a lot of sort of naff words these days, don't we, about culture and its importance. But to us, in a meaningful way, creating a risk aware culture as part of your organizational culture is about helping your team understand that reward and threat form part of every major business decision and getting people to become comfortable with having discussions about the risk and the reward associated with decision making and getting it early in the decision making life cycle and making it a proactive part of your business decision making process is how you embed it and I guess create a risk aware culture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those three things, understanding what risk is, making sure that you keep it nice and simple and build risk into all of your decision making at all levels in the organisation. So if yep. you do, do those three things, then you and your teams will be swinging to the sweet sounds of risk management. <laughs>